Welcome back folks to part 2 of my ideas for GPS focused mobile games that Nintendo could make. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, be sure to do so, as I'm pretty happy with all 10 of these ideas. Be sure to let me know what you think at the end of the video. Enjoy! Number 5, Animal Crossing Go. The only game in this list to feature the word Go, and I'm quite impressed with myself for that. Animal Crossing Go would be exactly what you are probably picturing right now. Create your avatar and set out on a quest to catch bugs, fish and find fossils. It's all very simple, but here's a couple of things that would make it a great game. Firstly, you should be able to set up a den. Now I say den as I want to make it a unique experience, and I think that creating a house would almost encourage people to place it where their actual house is. And when it comes to security and all that sort of stuff, that's probably not a good thing. So yeah, you'd create a den wherever you'd like, and this would be invisible to any other players but you can invite friends over at any point. Friends could be obtained either by transferring data from the core Animal Crossing games or by meeting them at local hotspots, similar to Pokestops. When you're out and about, I think villagers would also pop up and interact with you in the familiar Animal Crossing's fashion. As I mentioned just before, this could interact with the core games. Perhaps you could transfer items, including furniture, over to there, and maybe you could pull your avatar straight from the core games. I think Animal Crossing Go is a fairly self-explanatory idea, but if you have any additional ideas, please let me know. Number 3, Pikmin Parade. This is another game based on the idea of collecting critters, this time Pikmin. The objective here would be to defeat the enemies that are loitering around the world map. In order to do this, you need to collect Pikmin, which of course are just found by walking around and plucking them up, and then you can engage with the enemy. You can engage with an enemy at any point, but your success would be based on how many Pikmin you have and what ones they are. You could always manage your Pikmin army outside of battle to make sure you had the ones you wanted. As with the main games, you'd only be able to carry 100 Pikmin. The objective of this game would be to level up your avatar and defeat all the different kinds of enemies, which in turn would be added to your Piklopedia. The Pikmin Pokedex if you like. Unlike Pokemon, where you are tasked with catching all the different monsters, here you are tasked with defeating all the different type of monsters. Number 3, Mario Kart RC. Here's one of my favourite ideas, and it doesn't even involve going out too much, but more using the map the GPS provides. So here's what I'm thinking. As a Mario Kart creator, you can cut chunks of the map away that you'd like to use in a mini Mario Kart circuit. I say mini as it's fairly obvious these circuits that would be generated would be fairly simplistic in design, but it would be great to race around your local neighbourhood. Playing in with this mini theme, I thought it would be really cool if you actually controlled RC cards as opposed to the characters themselves, meaning the animations would be very limited, but it would allow you to unlock masses of characters. This is a game where you could pick Goomba, Swoop, Chain Chomp and Amp as your playable character because they're all in RC cards and that would be one of the biggest pulls to the game. The objective is to create your own tracks and cups, share them online. The more cups you complete and the more cups you race in, the more characters you unlock and the more tools you unlock to customize your tracks. Again, it would all be fairly basic, but I think that would be absolutely fine. Over time, you get the ability to create hills in the tracks, set background features, change the environments from grasslands to deserts to beaches and all that sort of stuff. I think this is one of those ideas that the more you think about it, the better it gets. In getting back to races, I think it would be ace if there was, let's say, 120 races to unlock. And I almost forgot to mention, you'd be able to race people online, but I guess that's fairly obvious. You could always link your NX Nintendo account to the game too, so that players could find you on Mario Kart 9. Number 2. Splatoon's Global Inking just look at the fierce rivalry between Valor, Mystic and Instinct. What if we created a game entirely based on taking turf from one another? Oh boy, here's one of my favourite ideas of the bunch. In Splatoon's global inking, you'd be asked to join a team, probably just a colour, but give it a fancy name and maybe a leader, a perfect opportunity for Nintendo to create new characters. So in Splatoon... So in Splatoon, what's the objective? Well, it's to cover the map in ink, of course. Covering the map in ink. Well, I think we have our answer, folks. So basically, your inkling will have an ink supply. Your objective is to simply walk around the map, which would then automatically be covered in ink. Once your tank is out, your ink would naturally recover over time, or you could refill it at certain points. 
obviously there's an opportunity for microtransactions there. The overall objective of the game is to get the entire globe covered in as much of your ink as possible. There's no actual fighting involved, you just need to cover more ground than your opposing teams. When you activate your ink tank is up to you, so you could cover specific areas where no one goes to, or just keep control of your local neighbourhood. As you advance you could purchase different weapons that might cover more ground such as rollers or paintbrushes and stuff like that. I could see this becoming huge events where everyone runs off in different directions to try and cover as much ground as they can. Your rewards could be based on how much turf you own on an hourly or daily basis. Again, with most of the ideas mentioned, a lot of the stats and items could be transferred to the main games. Just think, as we speak, our planet would be getting covered in virtual ink. I truly believe this is a great idea that Nintendo really should look into. And let me know if you have any additional ideas for this game. Number 1. Zelda Treasure Tracker And finally we're here at number 1. Do you recognise this name? If so, you're a true Zelda fan. If not, we'll move on. This idea is based all around tapping into the geocaching community. For those of you that don't know, geocaching is a global recreational activity where people set up little pots of knickknacks, aka geocaches, around the globe. They hide them in areas for other people to try and find, usually by using GPS hints found online. When you find these containers, or geocaches, you usually sign a little book which is included and take one of the items inside. You then replace this item with something of your own. And with that, you've probably all figured out where I'm going with this idea. Either Nintendo partners with the official geocaching community or, and most likely, they create their own, where gamers are encouraged to create little treasure chests of goods for players to find. You can then set up directions, routes and even photos on the app for other gamers to find these goods. A big community could come out of this, especially if there was live commenting or something like that, where gamers could share what they found and what they've put in the boxes. And by far my favourite idea about this is what if Nintendo were to release some official merchandise to coincide with the app. What I mean is, what if we were able to buy official treasure chests that have been specifically designed with this in mind? We would then end up with a world literally filled with mini Zelda style treasure chests, very reminiscent of the upcoming Breath of the Wild. This would encourage exploration like no other game and could easily be a family day out or a day out with mates. I absolutely adore this idea and can only dream that something like this happens and that is why I've placed it at the very top of this list. Well, that's it folks, this has easily been one of my favourite lists to compile, so please let me know what you think, and please share it. I really do enjoy listening to everyone's ideas. Thank you very much for watching folks, you've been watching Keen TV, and be sure to tune in again.